everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I am working on the exterior of this house. Back at it again, indoors, outdoors, in between rains, doing everything we can every day of the year. Today's project, I found some storm doors, the original storm doors and some replacement aluminum storm doors and I've been on the fence about which ones to do. It's a beautiful old fashioned door and I like to keep it that way. However, it's just a solid wood door, no insulating factor. We had to remove the storm doors because they got caught by the wind. The tenants kept taking the chain off of the top. The wind would catch it because it faces uh, to the west. And that's just one of the worst things you can do is to take that chain off because your door closer alone is not going to save it from getting caught in the wind. So they were really beautiful, but you can see that crossbar the, or the up and down uh, rails and styles. The rails go up and down, the styles go sideways. That's got cracks in two spots and the door behind it just has absolute wood chunks missing out of it. They can be absolutely beautiful when restored and salvageable. But we were lucky enough years ago that we found these in the rafters brand new old stock aluminum doors with a whole box of mounting hardware. So I've got hardware sitting here and I decided I didn't really want to use them. They're outdated, but with a coat of paint, that changes the story. So sometimes a new door on a house can give it a more modern updated look. But like in this case, we wanted that old door and that old style door. And this was another door that we had saved and restored last year. So if you like these kinds of videos, go to the home improvement playlist and you can find this door. Um, it was a repair job and repaint and hang and same thing. It hadn't had that safety chain on it. It got caught. Somebody put a modern steel door on it. And the thing with this door is it's 84 inches. Most doors are 80. And I took the time to redo this awning, the front door last year. We're working on the roof right now. That's why you're not seeing the husband in a lot of the shots. He's been up there while I've been working on the ground. And this has been waiting for a storm door or screen door. And I'm about to start work on the inside. And I just got to really thinking about these doors and wanted to get them hung. So this one got prepped today. I've got the chain hardware already set. And it's getting its first coat of paint right now. So after much debate and pricing doors, I had actually picked up a couple of more modern uh, glass doors that were missing the screen inserts. The main thing about this house is I wanted the screen inserts because there's storm windows on, they're hard to get on and off, and it's nice to just open up a door um, with a screen and window option. So I started painting these. I had some really nice Rust-Oleum satin black paint. That's one thing that really helps with an older door to look modern is to not have it shiny or white or silver. Maybe this black would look really nice with it since I've last year went and added shutters and taken those steel awnings off and painted the storm windows upstairs. And I realized these storm windows are probably from the 60s or 70s when they added storm windows to the upstairs because all the downstairs windows are wooden storm windows that are beautiful just like those storm doors back there. So you can see they are real dirty. That is very, very gross. I've got cobwebs and dirt. But the thing about these is I had them listed for sale took a picture of the measurements and people kept saying, well, are they supposed to be 36 by 80? They are with the frame. And I probably had a half a dozen people flake on me and a dozen or more people ask me about them and not follow through. That's the way things go with Facebook and that's the way things happen to be when you're supposed to keep it. So I've got myself set up here in the shade with some hot soapy water I'm not even going to bother with rinsing them. I'm just trying to get the dirt off and we'll give the glass a good cleaning um, after it's painted and 
everything's in but the key to getting that paint to stick especially with the shiny metal is um, get it good and clean and coat it with a um, auto body primer works fantastic so I've got a jump start on my painting and I've taped off the windows this uh, satin rust-oleum is really nice it brushes on really well you could do it a lot quicker with spray paint but it's windy it's hot and I just feel like it's a waste of time the last door I did no matter how many coats I put on it I kept seeing like the spray pattern it would not like level out I don't know if it was the heat after like two cans I gave up and switched to a brush for the final coat this way I'm just using up paint I already had I'm using up doors I already had I even painted the screen because that silver aluminum screen practically disappears with a coat of black so I just made sure I had a really dry brush and I went in every direction on one side I'm gonna let these dry probably for the better part of today and put a second coat on tonight or possibly even tomorrow I was real lucky two sets of hardware in separate boxes things had been moved out of here and put into storage so many years ago but these Raptors up here, the guy was a builder, he saved everything. And we just kind of got into the project and decided this was a great time to do it because then I could work in the house with all the windows and doors open and not worry about the pesky squirrels. So today I am working on mounting my door. I've only got the one side painted and that's fine. Um, it is the side that goes against any of the white so that I don't have to do any taping off and for the other side I can just open the door um, of course I have the window inserts and screen inserts out I have to flip those over and paint them today I was real lucky I got um, instructions with it however I'm using an assistant I think that you should have one they're telling you to hang the door first then the top then the bottom but to make or the side to make sure everything's lining up up here at the top we're taping things in place and we're gonna start with that and work our way around so like I said I had boxes um, of hardware of course they're all aluminum I've got some old rust-oleum paint this is near impossible to paint once it's on and do a good job and that's the thing that people like about the new stuff it's a baked on fact factory finish just give it a good light coat it's such a small surface it doesn't take much So these are going to sit here and you can put them in the sun to bake and I'm going to work on my safety chain. So the downfall of every door that's been on this house is the wind comes this way, it catches the door and it flies open against the house. A lot of times people will install a door closer here or up at the top and you want it you know mounted in the right spot but I think generally in this case it's going to be at the bottom. You can see where one was done before and the wind catches it and it rips it off you got to have something more than that so these safety chains um, a lot of people don't like them for aesthetic reasons but this is why this gets mounted on the door I have to get this at a 90 degree angle to the other door we'll drill holes there and get that mounted and see how this goes here there's a safety spring here and a secondary spring going there so that it has that catch it can't go beyond that and then if the door closer fails the wind won't catch it then you've got something at top and bottom the mistake a lot of people try to do is just do two closers it's the safety chain 
So now all of my door hardware for both doors has gotten a second coat of paint and I'm just using some old Rust-Oleum spray paint that I have on hand. If you've been around for a while, you know these are old cans. Um, they, work, they work great. If you don't let your uh, cans freeze, these spray cans, they last a long, long time. And my quart is left over from doing a previous door last summer. So keep, keep your supplies and, and use them up. Um, a lot of this is recycled and second hand. Some of these were from the original door kit and some others were from storm windows that I had previously. So they got a coat of fresh black paint. Um, I've got enough to do all of the front. I don't know if I'll use these or not because I am missing a little bit of hardware from that. And this all just got a second coat of paint and my next door got its first coat of paint and we're all safety chained up. So the next thing to do is tomorrow, I'm gonna let all of that hardware dry overnight. We have to drill a hole in the door for the handle and we'll be able to um, do the inside of the door. I'm just doing touch up coats right now. And I'm really liking the way it's looking. Again, this is the satin black. So now I'm moving on to my glass panes. They're all getting a second coat and that's gonna go really quickly. And I'll be able to do the screen insert and the screen as well. So this is going to dry overnight and it'll be all set to start the hanging tomorrow. It's going to be a little work on this one. The original hinges for the first storm door are still on the porch and they are painted over many times. It's a job to get them out. Now the front door has been a little bit trickier because I think they ordered it about an inch too big and that's going by rough openings. So what you can do is this is called Lattice. If you've seen the video that I've been working on, um, trimming out my kitchen cabinets to give them a new look, this is about a quarter inch. And if it's perfectly in this door frame right here, so I have um, another one that is a little bit thicker. And that a lot of times is used for door stops. So I have the two of them together right here and I just use the brad nail to stick it in so I've got some touch up uh, paint drying. I had the old hinges here and they did not want to budge. I could not back out the screws at all. Um, a lot of traffic today, sorry. <laughs> Big trucks. They want to be heard. Um, so I ended up just grinding off the hinges because they were recessed into the door jam anyway and you won't even be able to see them with this edge of the door because it overlaps on the side and for mocking up I keep taping them in place and um, kind of just moving them as I need to go so this side I've got shimmed up and I may want to reduce or remove a shim I haven't decided yet until we get the door hung we'd actually found we're doing the last one um, you really do want to have the door hung first and then do your top and other side because it gives you um, the right spacing on the closing side. Well, I was slow about going with it. And one thing about figuring out and using old hardware is trying to figure out which screws and different things go where. I had to figure out the doorknob. I had to figure out the door closer down at the bottom. So that way, every time someone goes out, the door is going to close. It needs a little adjustment um, so that it doesn't close so fast, but it's come together really good. I got just a couple of touch up coats to do here and there. The screen's all done. The glass insert is done and ready to go in for when the weather turns cold. But now I can work inside tomorrow. I can take off my blue tape and it is complete. Complete with an original knob. And it's a locking knob, so that's a bonus point there, too. So tell me down in the comments below, what do you think? I love the way it looks. And with the black on the front door, it's going to look even better. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.